like to show two examples of where the Community Map of Canada Vector Base Map has been updated very quickly through the Geo Foundation Exchange. We're looking at vacant land in Richmond Hill, Ontario. I'll play a time slider that starts in January to show when updates to the base map occurred. As we roll into mid-February, we see a new subdivision, and as we zoom in, we see new parcels as well. These are recent updates from the town of Richmond Hill, and if we compare to Google Maps, we see that they're not in their map yet. Through the Geo Foundation Exchange, updates can happen in 24 to 48 hours. We'll look at another area under development in Ottawa. As I play the time slider again, we see new roads appear in February. And just like we saw in Richmond Hill, these updates came through the Geo Foundation Exchange, and they're available on our base map before Google Maps. This dashboard shows changes made to the, com the content of the Community Map of Canada vector base map. These areas across the country have been updated in the last few months, and the Community Map of Canada tracks open data sites across the country and downloads any changes made to the many data sets it monitors on a nightly basis. This base map would not be possible without the contributions from all levels of Canadian government. But now, contributions to this accurate and up-to-date national base map extends to all members of our community thanks to the new feedback add-in for ArcGIS Pro. As a GIS analyst, accessible and authoritative Canadian data is central to all decision making. I can access data from the City of Ottawa using the Esri Canada Open Data Hub. I can then easily create a web map in ArcGIS Online and then share that map with members of my organization or access it in ArcGIS Pro. In this case, a more appropriate base map might be the Community Map of Canada. And this is accessible from my base map gallery if the current base map group is set to the Esri default in my organization's settings. So here we see that the Community Map of Canada is also available in the dark gray and light gray styles. But in my case, I'm going to choose the top of graphic style. Next, I'll save my map and continue my analysis in ArcGIS Pro. Since I'm signed in with my named user account in ArcGIS Pro, I can access the map I just created using open data in ArcGIS Online. The Community Map of Canada that I decided to use is also available here. Now my task is to analyze safe walking zones for school children in the neighborhood of Stonebridge in Ottawa's West End. With a quick glance at the different elementary schools in this neighborhood, I noticed that one of the building footprints is not, has not yet been added to the Community Map of Canada. Using the feedback add-in tool that I've already installed, I can provide accurate information about missing features in the map with Esri Canada's Community Maps team. So I'll provide the important information. And then once I submit this form, our Community Maps team will forward this information to the owner of the data so that they can update the source data. So keep in mind that your feedback is important and will help us make a better map for you. If you'd like to see more Esri Canada videos, you can subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button. Thank you very much.